that's not yeah. paying property taxes. You own yeah. land when you yeah. don't pay property yeah. taxes. Yeah. And you give it to your kids without having to pay yeah. 60%. Just that's how yeah. owning so, land is. Just a quick point to keep it on focus here. So when typically when you buy in simple title, when you go to the title company, you don't get the real land, you get a property description. And it's, uh -huh. it's the fiction. The real land is described in degrees and and it describes really what the reality is. And you put that in a land patent or a mode of title. You don't put it in a fee simple title because that's nothing, you don't own anything. It gives you the right to be a slave to pay tax right. on something that you could never own. And in that realm, ownership is really not what it's cut out to be. But, but truly having land, a it patent. can never How do you take get a care. patent? I mean, do you um, have to like make some new orchid or something? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it, it's a very straightforward process. And um, that's something. Paperwork, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot of paperwork. Yeah. Not a lot, but it is paperwork. So, so what kind of grants did they get? What was the grant based on? Grants for things like green building, um, yeah. tractors, list, stuff like that. Yeah, they have a whole list of you know things that basically are what we're doing is going to solve. Because mm -hmm. you know, people offer grants for all kinds of things like to solve world hunger, to Solve the environmental crisis. CO2. Clean water, things like that. <laughs> yeah. Just plant more trees. That's, that's, that's all the CO2. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. There so there you go. It's really about, there are specific agreements, and it's really about uh, creating something that then other, other communities can model. And that's why the grants are there, because of what the uh, family domains, the kids domains are agreeing to create are really required right now in our, in our world, definitely in our country and, and also in our world. So there are people that are eager to provide yeah. grants. To me, that because really we're, um, the people who are doing this are the forerunners in a, a new way of living mm -hmm. and therefore it's required that the information is shared um, in great detail. But that's why we're asking about brass tacks. Not trying to be naysayers, but really, you know, the logistics of it, about buying land. I mean, yeah. this can, you know, consume yeah, like 1,000 pages of documents to buy a piece of land, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's not just like, oh, here's some gold pence, and yay, we're, <laughs> we're yeah. flying around ferries, and the government will never come take it. Right. I mean, what's your policy on gun ownership? On your place for six hundred. So the thing is, go read what the Colorado and Kinsman is doing, and then mm -hmm. come back with questions. Yeah, we'll on detail do stuff. For detail stuff like that. Yeah. So this is just the beginning for all of our do community. They, do they talk about? Okay, it sounded like um, to be a part of the settlement, you are actually uh, volunteering to get out of the structure, the, uh, the grid, off the grid, out of the system, the, the system for the county. But the counties um, own the hospitals, so when you elect to do this, are you then removed from the services that, or how is that you know, covered, or do they mention it? Police, well, most electricity. Times, fire. Most times the hospitals are, are privately owned. But so yeah, like yeah, things so like there's fire. there's no restriction on using those facilities. So we, like you were talking about being able to, to um, get your license to drive on the road, the roads that we don't own anymore. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so you yeah, are you still yeah. How you, how well, I, the, uh, the county has a responsibility to take care of law enforcement and uh, fire fires department. and things. Mm -hmm. you know, we'd probably set up a uh, volunteer fire department within the community. But, you know, they have a responsibility to take care of all those other things. And they get funded from several different ways. Property tax was just one of them. Um, but yeah, um, so, and like I said, we're still getting clarification on how this all works, but it is, you know, there are people who have done it, and it is, you know, it's just basic law, you know, you, once you have your land patented, and you don't sign the contract with the county, then, you know, you, if the land is paid for outright, then it's actually yours, you own it. And that's how we are ensuring that people can own their land forever and pass it on down to their heirs. Yeah. And also, you know, within the trust, then you know, people can trade back and forth, but they'll sign an agreement that you know, no money exchanges hands. Yeah. And then would there be stuff like stores, or would you go outside? 
Like a community well, square where you gather together on the weekend. I bet there'd be a, a, actually, yeah. there'd be a super food store. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That and having an well, we have to now. We have a gold currency. standard. <laughs> so we yeah. live on a gold standard, silver standard. <laughs> well, then definitely mineral rights. I mean, that comes with it. <laughs> and they're using energy credits too as part of their exchange, which is non-taxable. And you'll learn more about that when you read their website as well. I checked out their website. That's some pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool. So Can y'all send out the link for that? Website. Yes, definitely. I, I, I Googled it the other day and found one about Colorado Coon, and I, either I missed all the information or we'll something. We'll send out the exact link. Yeah, we'll send yeah. out the exact link. And yeah. So, I mean, if you did establish a church on it, would that alleviate your property taxes? If it was considered a, a, church a religious, Unitarian. tax free. These are all these are all things. See, you're, you're way ahead of a lot of people because you're already doing something similar, and you're having questions that are that are you know kind down of down the road, the road. Yeah. <laughs> down the down road. The road. <laughs> so you but you consider the question and they're valid. And and um, what I recommend is that question anybody who has these kinds of questions that start start writing them down and and think about what would your solution be because the way the organization structure of of coming into groups and having these discussions and then making determinations for our settlement, all as part of a specific process. Uh -huh. And all these questions get addressed in circle and pause uh -huh. and then brought to the group. So, you know, these are yeah, all this important is, considerations. But this is just yeah. the first meeting. Yeah, a lot of these questions that are being asked are specifics um, which we'll get into in other meetings when, you know, there's a committed membership. Mm -hmm. We have people who are committed to doing this and regularly attending meetings because that's one thing that's required in our action steps. And we'll be doing that, you know, pretty quick, like I said, because we're our goal is under two months. Wow. Yeah. See a lot of meetings in the next two months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, months a lot of the groundwork has already been laid for us, and so with people reading and studying up, we can go really fast. Outside reading the, the books, what other um, mission students need? That's reading. also on the website. Yeah, that's yeah. also on the website. But basically, just reading the books and having being in alignment with what's you know the ideas yeah. and in alignment with the vision. And basically, the domain too. Yeah. Any basic idea of rules, like they're already in your head, like There's no guns, no whatever. Yeah. Pet ownership. Pet ownership. Who's going to kill the snakes? Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 What do we do for mice? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 fact, no, no factory farms. Cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cats. Cats. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who's going to handle the boll weevil so, eradication? Uh, <laughs> modeling yeah. Yeah. Like the Colorado Tens Domains um, platform and applying that to be able to uh, get the grants, right? So, um, no, they've already got the grants. They're actually well to qualify to get the grants funding from us. them to get sponsorship from them to start. Yeah, because we'll have an agreement with them about the, our our kids are going to line up theirs. Right. So really, I mean, once we study up on what their platform is, what their yeah, that's is, a great place to things. start. And the cool thing about what they've already done is that they've already just done so much that that if, even just reading about what they've done, even if we do certain things differently based on our situation and our climate and all sorts of stuff as local factors. Um, even if we do stuff differently, they've they've established a lot of things where we can read them and be like, oh, I understand this, and then we start thinking in detail in a lot of the, 